Actuarial and financial studies is a degree that allows you to take some of the professional exams that allow you to qualify as a professional actuary in the longer term and you do that as a full-time student of UCD. So you take a range of modules at UCD that map to those professional exemptions and you also take a broader range of UCD modules as well to supplement your studies in the wider sense. I chose to study actuarial and financial studies at UCD um, because I always wanted to do something in maths. I was in, when I was in school I was very logical and analytically minded. I liked maths but didn't want to go into accounting or straight maths so I found out about actuary and I just thought this would be a better option for me. Um, I liked the option to do some finance in it as well. When I looked more into it UCD was definitely the best option um, as they offer the maximum number of exemptions. Being an actuarial financial studies uh, student at UCD can be difficult at times. Um, it's very busy and full on, but there's definitely a lot of support out there. Um, there's a social side to it too. Uh, there's an actuarial and financial studies society um, and they organize a lot of events and speakers that give more context about um, what the career will look like as well. Two key features of this degree are in third year, students get to undertake a minimum six month paid industrial placement. So they'll go to work for an insurance company in Dublin or in some cases abroad. So for example, in London or Edinburgh, Sydney, New York, and they'll get the hands-on experience of what it's like to be an actuarial trainee working towards becoming an actuary in the longer term. And that's a process that most of our students really enjoy. One thing I particularly like about this course at UCD um, would definitely be the broad range of subjects that we're exposed to. Um, we got a lot of exposure to obviously maths and statistics, but we also get to see a bit of economics and finance and um, machine learning and kind of computer science as well. And I really like that. So students on this program will study a range of courses, first of all in mathematics and statistics. And then in their first year, they will also study some broader courses in economics, finance and accountancy. So for students who don't study these subjects at Leaving Cert or A-level, they shouldn't be concerned because they will upskill in those areas in first year to bring everyone up to the same common standard. And then moving forward into second and third year, the nature of the courses in statistics and mathematics will become more advanced. So they'll study financial maths and other applications that are specific to being an actuary. In the second half of third year, they undertake their six month head placement as part of that year's studies. And then finally in fourth year, they study actuarial risk management for several modules, which opens up what's known as the CP1 exemption, which is an exemption from a very challenging exam from the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries, along with further additional advanced courses in mathematics, statistics and financial mathematics. Work opportunities traditionally have always been very strong. The employment rate for our graduates is, is very healthy. So in any given cohort of graduating students, usually two thirds of them approximately will go on to be trainee actuaries. So they'll go to work for insurance companies in general insurance, such as car insurers, in health insurance, or in life insurance and pensions. Those would be the main sectors of employment in Dublin and abroad for actuarial graduates. And then about one third of the cohort will go into broader fields that we've mentioned. To make friends in UCD, I recommend just putting yourself out there especially in orientation week. Uh, when I joined, I didn't know anybody. None of my friends from school were here, but you just have to go to everything, go to all the events in orientation week. Um, if you're staying up here, talk to your housemates or your roommates and talk to their friends and just kind of put yourself out there. My main advice would be to make sure that this course is a good fit for you in the sense that you need to be very strong mathematically and to enjoy mathematics because you're going to see a lot of modules in this degree that are of a highly sophisticated mathematical and statistical and technical nature. So even the subjects, for example, in finance eventually will end up incorporating a lot of mathematics. So it needs to be a subject that you enjoy, that you want to learn more in, and that you want to apply to real-world problems in advancing your career. <laughs>